Yo, yo, yo. yo. What up, what up? Say what up. What up? Say trick or, trick or treat, bitches. What's trick up? or treat. What are you doing in there? Yeah. Michigan. We're on Periscope now. We're just walking around with the, uh, what up, yo. Walking around with the little kids. Freaking stealing candy from people late. Look at Whatever's this. left, I... It's already wait. almost over. It's always raining in Michigan on Halloween. What up, dope? Oh, uh, not out here. Let's go see Ooh, some... I'm uh, sorry. My brother-in-law. What's up? You're live Hi. on... I thought you were one of the Live on I Periscope. Like, <laughs> what are we doing? You're live on, on Periscope. Why am I on Periscope? how many people are looking at you right now. In the kind of, say what's up to Matt. Say hello, Matt. I'll prove it. Yeah. They're looking at you, man. Me out, bro. Yeah. Hey. Wait. See? They're all saying what's hey. up. All right. Look at this guy. Sebastian. Last year. Really? Where is he? Look board. at this kid. Say, yeah. Oh my god, you're scaring me. <laughs> Look at this. This kid's crazy. He's my little nephew, man. He's awesome. I hope I have a kid just like him. <laughs> I'm a I'm terrified if I have kids that are going to, like, turn out like, you know. Tell Matt he owes me ten bucks. Do you know Matt? Someone says, tell Matt he owes me ten bucks. Uh, no. Bro, you ten bucks, you're a Who liar. is that again? And you owe me more money. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Make babies, maybe soon. This yeah. one. Hey, what the fuck? Do you know Matt? Do you know Matt? I don't know, Matt. These are guys all He's over Matt. the... Yeah. This is the uh the monster in law. Wait, she's oh, gotta put her hat on. Everybody's seen her in the YouTube videos. Wait, huh? you gotta put the hat on. Mama. Put it on. Everybody say hello to the monster in law. Hello. You know you're alive right now. Thirty-two. Boys, boys, they're shaving a monkey's butt. Yeah. Happy do you Halloween, want kids everybody. at some point? Yes, right away. Happy Halloween. Say happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Say happy Halloween to the monster in law. So you got, you happy got Halloween. Two pies? I got this too. It looks really good. I'm oh. it. Yo, yo. I'm gonna have a little bit of both. Oh, what is this? Delicious. There's two whipped creams too. Just oh, you know what I'm doing? I got a GoPro and I'm gonna do a whipped cream. Uh, what is it called? Cool Whip Cam. We're putting a GoPro on the whipped cream cam. Later. I hope you're having a good Halloween. Videotapes everything. Oh yes. What do I videotape? Everything. Everything. Hey, what happened when uh? Do you do realize that that camera will not be allowed at the hospital when you come see your new nephew, though, right? No, 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 no. No, yeah, it's not gonna be allowed. Sorry, bro. No, 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 no. So, is this an alcohol-free um, Halloween party? Yes. 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 We are high on well, sober well, life. Matt's high on sober beer. life. But we need it. No drinks. My husband is drinking a beer. Yeah. Matt's drinking a beer. Right? Oh, no, hey, wife for trying. They, 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 they want to they ask you a question. You want to ask the wife of Tron a question? Yeah. All right. Out of my kitchen so I can finish yeah. doing this, guys. Come on. So, no trick or treat? Huh? What? I've been passing out candy. We're with 34 people right now. We've been passing out candy. Says, says. <laughs> what does it say? Aww. We uh the my sister and her husband Ashley, are passing are out king size candy bars. Don't forget, we keep the candy bars. Yeah, I just Ashley, ate a, uh, a Milky Way. Shit, I brought the camera and shit. 
Check this out. There's like nobody at this party, it's just a family thing. Hey, wait, wait. Check this out. <laughs> the Rex Cam. Kind of like Geek to Freak, right? Where he's got that crazy ass shark. Dude, when I have a kid, I'm going to be such an overprotective dad. I'll stay at home and make the wife a try to work. Hey, Josh. You're in the rich neighborhoods. They pass out. Chick fil A, bitches. Oh, yeah. Don't pet that dog. There's we supposed to be a bunch of people here, but there's not. Do you guys do anything for Devil's Night? She can handle it, but the other ones get kind of tusty. Do you remember? Anybody else want any of those? No Shave November. Are you down? I'm in. He's in. He's in. I'm always in. So, did you see my pictures from last year? Yeah, it was insane. Oof. You're working at Quicken Loans. We all do. Everybody, you all do? No, not all of us. Everybody in my team does. Yeah. Some, some of the mustache that's creepy. Just saying. How does your no wife shape. feel about no shaving? She hates no. it. She hates it? Why? Okay, no. She hates beard. Why? She would rather like ask her. She's right over there. Lauren? It my face. Hey, Lauren, how do you feel about no shave November? Cass and Heinrich. Yes. You're a Cass and Heinrich. I was just thinking. <laughs> Lauren, how do you feel about no shave November? She can't hear me. Why, is, why? Everybody's talking to me at once. I can't. Ashley. I'm getting anxiety. What? I'm not going to shave this whole month. Why? Whatever. Yeah. No, I that doesn't mean anything for you. No okay, shave November. No, that's what you like. Someone's dog smells awful. It's my sister's. Thank you. Doesn't it stink? Man, everybody's having kids except for, <laughs> you, you except for me. This guy is awesome. Look at this. He got sick of water. The king. Look at all these crazy pictures. I took all these pictures. Alright, guys. Oh, you didn't miss nothing. Is there, are, they still, are there still kids coming up? Getting candy, it's all over that fast. Um, they said an hour, they said another, another 40 minutes. So, really? Yeah. Look at all that. I don't know what to do. That boy! <clears throat> Anyways, I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure they'll be here. 39 people on here. 39 of you guys. I'm happy. Let's go outside. When I was a kid, I was always like, who the hell would want to stand and pass out candy? Look at this dog. Nico. You good dog? Huh? The season is almost over for landscaping. It's grind time, then snow plow time. Halloween is like a proper thing in the US. Hell yeah, dog. The periscope. Time to plow snow. Yes. Did I like plowing snow? You know why? Fox Lawn Care Service. What up, dude? You're the shit, bro. Snow, snow, snow. You know why? Because you can listen to podcasts all night. Talk on the phone for hours. Catch up with people you didn't get to talk to all damn summer. I even like snow blowing and shoveling and getting that workout. Yes. Solitude. Plowing snow, dog. Um, I love winter time. The wife said, it's so cold. <laughs> oh, I love it. If you save up your money, winter is the bomb. And then all you make, for, at least for me, for snow is all just like extra money. It's an amazing time of the year.
I was on the phone uh, today with DJ Carroll. I'm sure you've seen him and you met him at the expo. I was on the phone with this dude for like 45 minutes. This dude is super intelligent, bro. We are in an awesome, awesome industry. We get such a change of pace. Yes, yes. We are in an awesome industry. We get such a change of pace. That's so true. People who just work in a nine to five and they just same thing year round, they never get to like get that quantum leap of growth. No one can hear you scream. Yes. And that's what I love about the winter. Like two years ago in the winter, uh, we work all the way until it snows, like mid December. Until and then it melts and we go do more fall cleanups. And we're full blown into fall cleanups now. Gutter cleanings, do those. When I first started doing gutter cleanings, I was flat broke. I was like, I'll do it for thirty five bucks for a ranch. Now eighty five bucks for a ranch or no deal. And then a, a, a two story house, one thirty five up to one eighty five. If it's really bad, two twenty for a huge house. Winter is poor for us window cleaners. Yes, I still do window cleaning in the winter. But not as much, and usually it's the like commercial places, banquet hall stuff like that. But you go out on a day and make two hundred fifty bucks on one, you know. What was I say? Oh yeah, gutter cleaning is the shit. Advertise. No, I don't take the downspouts off. I stick a blower down in the downspout and then from the you bottom, are. straight up, and then blow it out from both angles, and uh, it works. We just run around with a backpack blower. Like I got one customer, she hides eighty five bucks under the mat cash, and we just do her gutters all the time. Have to use antifreeze. Oh, I never thought of that. I use windshield washer solvent with a whole bottle of alcohol. And if it's too cold to do it with that, uh, and Dawn, obviously, but if it's too cold to do that, it's too damn cold because once the water hits your fingertips, you're just in hell. And if, well, that's how I started my window cleaning side of the business is to by being desperate, dude, in the middle of the winter. <sighs> Loving life, man. I was at work today. Uh, having a panic attack, we we're cleaning windows. Now, I'll tell you the story. In Michigan, it gets so cold that it's unbearable. You go outside for a minute, and it feels like your fingers are gonna break. It's Forrest coming back next season, hopefully. But he says he is um he wants to do a, a mountain bike across the entire country and take three months off work to mountain bike. I'm like, okay, well you should videotape it and put that shit on YouTube. But I don't think he gets the YouTube thing. Um, what was I going to say? Ask me some questions, yo. Forrest. From Macon, Georgia. Yeah. So, we go this morning to do a window cleaning on Halloween. And the customer is not even there. 9 a.m. We wait for 45 minutes. I'm like, you know what? I got a, I got a guy on the clock. We just drove two cities across. I'm pissed off. If this per customer isn't here, I'm leaving. So we leave, get all the way back. Is this Lindsay Dermengian? How the hell did you? <laughs> I hope you didn't find my YouTube. Well, I guess it doesn't matter anyways. But what's up? What's up? I'll be at your house in a couple weeks when all the leaves are down to do everything. And rip out all the stuff on the side of your uh, your garage, your shed, clean everything up, do the fall cleanup. And I hope that tree that uh, we moved and planted for you is doing well. Don't say it died in front of all these people. Yes. So, the customer calls me after we already went all the way back home. I'm here now. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you motherfucker, I should charge you a $40 service charge because I just lost $73 before the, mo the morning even started. But... Go back, make the customer happy, do it anyways. Because you're in the service business and you got to bend over backwards for people and really just be of service. And then it always opens up more doors to more things. Help me get our YouTube going, brother. Gun landscaping in Indy. How can I help you get your YouTube going? Well, here's the thing. If you make a good quality video and send me the link, then I'll give it a thumbs up and I'll share it. And that's the way it works. This is genius. It is genius. Look at this, man. It's legitimately Halloween. What is all this stuff? I need a light out here. Go back in the house. What are you guys eating? What is that? 
Sebastian would tell me. Crackpot Pirogi and Kibasa. Sebastian tells me. Oh. Somebody gets a time off for him. Should I try some? Yeah. Tell me. If you're not afraid of me, I'm going to try some. He's never told me that Jack. What time is it here? It is. 7.20? Is that right? 7.20 ish? Yeah, I don't know. Am I going to do some tricks? So I took TV away. Uh, maybe. Hey, what are you eating? You eat pierogies mm -hmm. with this meat? No. This time no around, meat. Yeah. Yeah. She made me a, my own. to have a sweet little dog. A sweet little dog. Yeah. Nico. A big, a big little Look at this. Dog. Look at this. Look at this. What is that? Okay. I'm about to get some food. And I don't know if you guys want to sit here and I, mean, I could try to feed you a bite of it. But I don't know how it's going to work. We haven't developed that type of technology yet, bro. Later. Where's Andrew Sontag, man? What is this? Whoa. I don't really like eating pork. So I don't know if I'm going to eat that. How did the wife's new sewing machine work? She hasn't taken it out yet, but it does embroidery. She's going to be selling aprons off the hook. She's a genius. Go to the Wife of Tron's YouTube channel. Type in Ashley Fay, A S H L E Y F A Y E, and uh, or Ashley Fay Kelfus, and she has a whole YouTube channel. There's tons of vlogs and stuff. There's actually a vlog on there where she drags me to the salon and makes me get a mani pedi. For uh, guys, that means manicure pedicure. So I go in there, I'm all embarrassed and shit. And I'm like, oh my god, this thing is weird. And then they take my socks off. A landscaper's feet are ferocious. And these crazy Chinese people start like taking a hacksaw to my toenails. And I was like, this ain't so bad, right? And my feet have never feel so clean. Do you watch Luke the window cleaner? No, I think I've heard of him. Wait, wait. I need to get a hold of this guy. So there's some crazy vlogs on that channel. And, um, yes. Mmm, the pumpkin pie is delicious. Corn City. Mmm, pork, the wonderful meat animal. No, I do not eat the pork or no red meat. No chicken. It is disgusting. Do you know that when you eat, um... Oh, I didn't hear what you said about my last video. Damn it, I missed it. If you eat a 10-piece chicken wing, five chickens had to die. I tell four shit like that, and he's like, mm, dead chickens. I don't know, dude. I've been doing the vegetarian thing for like two years now. And it's messed my mind up. Don't watch those crazy documentaries about factory farming. Because I watched it and it like... Now I can't even eat meat without thinking about it. And I haven't ate meat in two years. You had a 20 lot last night. Oh, that's yeah, very nice. So... What else? What's going on here? Anybody got a Keurig? These things are awesome. Oh, this is the good stuff too. Wife of Tron. Wife of Tron. Look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it. Oh, I know you, you're okay, then you're definitely not a vegetarian. What? Nothing, they're talking about how, uh, I missed it again, didn't I? Are you leaving, Mom? I am, well, because he's there by himself. Hey. Do you, um, I would be your son-in-law, right? What? Yeah, you're my son-in-law. Okay, I don't know how that stuff works, but anyways. So, the first time, uh, the first time yeah. that Ashley brought me over. Right, I remember that. What was this experience for you? That experience? Yes. Um... Well, you were... Look in the camera when you tell them. Okay. So you were, uh, you came over, it was around Christmas time, and I remember you were all friendly and warm and fuzzy, and um, you were very attentive. Attentive? Attentive. And uh, tell them the bad stuff. What bad stuff? There's no bad stuff. No. You know me. I hey, wait. Hey, look. Brushes. Hey, dude. Your mom in law is hot, too. Oh, they think you're a hot mom. Thank That's you. good. Oh, look at her. She's smiling. She's smiling. So, check this out. Check this out. Um, 
Um, what happened after only four months? Oh. I asked your daughter. <laughs> to marry her. So what? To move in. What happened after I asked your, do- your hey, daughter to marry me after really four bad. months? I know. Oh, no, I'm not going to go into all that where, where, stuff. Where you, were you? I thought you guys, well, it's uh, my own person. Remember I said I thought you guys should wait a little bit longer? Yeah. But I know what. And then you guys didn't listen to me. And then we didn't listen. And you got married. And, you know... Happy, living happily ever after. Oh, yeah. So that's where we're going with that. Okay, can yeah. I have uh, four? Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hopefully, I'll have grandchildren. Hopefully, what did you say? Hopefully, I'll have grandchildren in the future. Grandchildren in the future. Okay. She keeps waiting for the grandchildren. Here, let me, I'll tell you a secret. I'll tell you a secret. Let me hide under the table. Okay. I'm a 32-year-old grown-ass man. Little Keith's running around. If we have a boy, his name's going to be Joseph or Michael. And I don't think I want to name him Michael. I do, but I don't. Because I can't tell you. Okay, maybe I'll tell you. No, I'm not going to tell you. You better put the camera away and get to work, buddy. Shut up, hey. Listen. We have a daughter. Her name is going to be Michelle. I'm afraid to have kids. Because I'm afraid I will be a bad father. Because I'm so obsessed with, obsessed with trying to get our family financially ahead. So I can be a great provider. I grew up extremely poor. And my father said to me, he goes, um, you grew up fine, Keith. I'm like, yeah, welfare raised me. We literally grew up on welfare with presents from the church, uh, with nothing. And I will never let anything like happen to my kids. So, I can't work any more hours in a day. You know how that is when you're working constantly. And I just, I don't know how to do it. I'm afraid. I'm being a little bitch face about it. Should I knock up the wife Tron? Baby Kelphysis. Ah. I won't. T- ah, there's so much stuff I want to tell you, but I'm like, oh, good. I feel if I could tell you. Sometimes. Sometimes the wife Tron. You got three? You were tonight? Uh. Sometimes the wife of Tron is like, um, I can't tell you. <laughs> it's not proper. Let's say in the moment, she's like, let's have kids. And I'm like, no. And she's like, okay. Like that particular day that we had an accident, and I left frustrated. I'm like, you know what? This is ridiculous. I'm like, my kid does great. Okay. Can you you can't edit this? Yes, I know, right? I watched some of the periscopes I've been doing lately, and I watched the playback. I'm like, oh my god, I was talking about aliens. I was talking about crazy shit. Tell her you love her, and once you make a baby, I promise it to work. I do. I tell her. I, see, at first she wanted to have a kid, and I was like, no. And then I was like, I want to have a kid. She's like, no. What do I do? I, I would literally be at work landscaping with a baby in my YouTube videos. Put a YouTube symbol on his forehead. Look at this dog. Out of floor. Why does your dog speak so bad? Why does he speak so bad? Sebastian. Babe, you gotta take him home. Honey, you gotta take him home. Because he smells? Oh, he smells horrible. And he, Nico, come on. Hey, sat come on, Nico. On, I gotta take the dog home. He sat on Sebastian's jacket on his mouth. Like, oh, Nico, come on. Let's go. Go, go bye bye. I gotta take Nico home. Yes. Bye, Nico. Bye, Nico. Grandma loves 
Come on, Nico. No, sir. No, 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 no
All right, yo. I'm gonna let this dog in. And I'm gonna go get a T-bone steak. Huh. Get that T-bone steak. Look at him. He looks like the uh, that dog from the Neverending Story. Atreyu, doesn't he? This dog is fucking magical. Look at him. He's magical. Look at him. Miko, what's going on? Is it the Twilight Zone? Huh? Twilight Zone? Huh? Do you want to bite my face off? Alright, I'm over and out. Riding around. After I just made a damn video about not texting and driving. But that doesn't include periscoping while driving, bitches. Miko, say goodbye to everybody. Say happy Halloween. Say happy Halloween. All right. Peace out. I'm getting a call from a private number. No, I didn't take my phone. It's on black mode. <laughs> Peace out. Do I like hockey? Yes, I like hockey. It's the only sport I like because when you... For some reason, if I'm watching hockey, I'm like just zoned in watching it. I can't explain it. Making Georgia over and out. All right. Peace. I'm pressing the end broadcast. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Peace.